Hello everyone. Today we will be seeing some simple examples on Laplace transforms and some another properties also. So let us see the first example. Uh, we are going to find Laplace of t square minus 3t plus 5 plus e to the power 3t times t square. So let us consider the given question. Now this can be simplified further as Laplace being distributed over plus sign plus or minus sign and then we can take scalars outside that is because we are aware that Laplace operator L is a linear operator right so we are able to do this step then we can individually start applying the formulas that we have found Laplace of t square is nothing but We are aware this from our formula list that it is nothing but gamma of 2 plus 1 divided by s to the power 2 plus 1. Similarly, we can find Laplace of t and Laplace of 1. So these are three Laplaces that we can find. Now regarding this Laplace of e to the power 3t times t square, we have to use first shifting theorem. So first of all we find Laplace of t square which is available over here we have we are aware and then uh, and regarding e to the power 3t what we can do is um, yeah in order to take care of e to the power 3t what we can do is we refer the corollary of first shifting theorem which states that we have to replace s by s minus a so you replace in this gamma uh, in this Laplace s by s minus a and so that would be the answer of Laplace of e to the power 3t times t square so that is what you have and so you can give the reason using first shifting theorem no need to mention the corollary it's one and the same and then uh, here yeah we simplify it little bit further and then we write down the values of gamma 3 and gamma 2 so gamma 3 and gamma 2 gamma 3 is given as 2 gamma 2 is given as 1 and yeah that is done and how do we get that that is by using the formula gamma of n plus 1 is equals to n factorial whenever n is a natural number so finally we get our final answer that is our question is equals to this final answer so you can simplify this answer a little bit further but if you leave at this point it is fine okay so let us see the next thing we have multiplication effect by t to the power n now uh, what is this multiplication effect let us see the statement the statement states if laplace of f of t is equals to phi of s then Laplace of t to the power n times f of t is equals to minus of 1 to the power n times the nth derivative of phi of s. Okay, so having seen this statement, let us see an example regarding it. We are not going to prove this statement. Uh, if you wish to prove it, you can prove it using mathematical induction. The first principle of mathematical induction it's very easy and straightforward okay so let us see uh, an example we are going to find Laplace of t times e to the power minus 2t sin h 4t now I would like to advise you over here that whenever a function is given you try to either simplify the function if possible or you uh, you start with the rightmost function available so in this we are going to start with sin h 4t there are many methods available but tr try to see that how you can use the given properties of Laplace transforms to the given function and then start because here we are aware regarding Laplace of sin h 4t as well as e to the power minus 2t as well as regarding Laplace of t so you can not start every time with any function available you start in a proper order so that you get your answer correctly 
So here right now I am starting with sin h 40. First consider your function that is this. Okay. Thus when you find Laplace of sin h 40 by the formula we are aware that it is 4 upon s square minus 4 square and when you simplify you get this. The next I am going to take care of e to the power minus 2t. So when you multiply e to the power minus 2t to sin h 4t and then take its Laplace, what happens is in the in this step, the second step where we have found this Laplace, we are supposed to then use first shifting theorem. Okay, so this first shifting theorem when used since power of e is negative you replace s by s plus 2 okay and that's it we are done if you simplify it further it's all right otherwise you can take care of now t over here so now multiply t and take laplace over it so when we multiply t and take laplace what is the power of t power of t is 1 so using multiplication effect we will be getting minus of 1 to the power 1 times nth derivative so nth n is over here 1 so we would be taking the first derivative of p of s now what is the p of s over here it is this 4 upon s plus 2 the whole square minus 16 okay i hope that you are understanding this now uh, you simplify it further when we simplify this further what happens by our simple algebraic techniques we or the derivative techniques you find take the derivative get the answer and that is your final answer okay observe here one thing that you I started over here with the rightmost function and it is like the answer of Laplace uh, finding this Laplace is builded like a chain first I find sin h 40 Laplace and then on that answer that I have found I am now taking care of e to the power minus 2 t Laplace then I am taking uh, care of t over this function okay so while Managing all of them, you have to remember that they form a, co a continuous chain of answers and then you get your final answer. So, remember that if you make mistake at initial stage, then you kind of, you can go wrong at your final answer. So, while solving Laplace transform problems, we are supposed to take care of, of these points that you go it very carefully so that's it for today this was the method where I did using the rightmost function I started with I, in the next video I will do the same problem by simplifying okay and I leave the other method to you that I will discuss in the next video lecture Thank you.